This morning, new options for holiday travel may be taking off. The U.S. now in talks with airlines and foreign governments about ways to jumpstart travel between the U.S. and Europe and exploring rapid testing on designated travel corridors between select cities as a way to shorten quarantines on major routes like New York to London, where U.S. travelers currently face a 14-day quarantine on arrival. Potential changes that could come as soon as the holidays, now just two months away. This is airlines fight to survive and tens of thousands of U.S. airline workers remain furloughed. The industry, desperate for a boost, is adding new routes to entice travelers while emphasizing cleaning and safety protocols. Carriers like United, JetBlue and Hawaiian Airlines are announcing plans to offer coronavirus tests to travelers. And some airports like Tampa's are now providing optional COVID tests to passengers right in the terminal. 39% of people say they plan to travel during the holiday season. 21% say they usually would, but won't this year. The CDC still warns travel increases a person's chance of getting and spreading coronavirus. But for those planning to take a trip, travel booking app Hopper advises making holiday reservations before the end of October to get the best deals. Domestic airfares for Thanksgiving and Christmas trips are expected to be about 40 percent cheaper this year, with deals spread across more days. You're not really going to be losing out on a great deal by flying a little bit earlier or flying a little bit later. Being able to have a little bit more time to quarantine, get tested before seeing family members is something that people are really taking into consideration this year. For those who still aren't sure, many hotels and airlines are hoping to calm nerves with flexible cancellation policies. This is definitely the most flexible year to book in. So, you know, if you're thinking about traveling, now is a good time to make that booking. So, Gabe, those people presumably are traveling to get together with friends and family for the holidays. What's the CDC saying about safe ways to do that? Yeah, yeah, Willie. The CDC has released those guidelines for celebrating the holidays safely, and it mentions that low-risk activities include small dinners with family members, as well as virtual gatherings, obviously. Also, moderate risk activities include small outdoor dinner with family and nearby friends. And, of course, those high-risk activities include shopping in crowded stores and large indoor gatherings. It's best to avoid that. But Savannah and Willie, the holiday travel season will look very different if you're at the airports now. For example, sky lounges. They're, you know, pre-packaging snacks. They have plenty of hand sanitizers everywhere. Uh, hotels are doing things very differently. So this holiday travel season will be one like none other, guys. Mm.